so good morning all the students today we shall start our unit first unit first that is first chapter is the general characters origin and ancestry of the vertebrates you know that the general characters of that the vertebrates it is nothing but the general appearance or which of the characters of the vertebrates in all the vertebrates so first of all that all the vertebrates have at least traces vertebrates this is one of the most important characteristics of feature subphylum vertebrate you know that the chordate it is classified into the two groups that is the protochordates and the vertebrates so vertebrates it is nothing but the presence of vertebral column into the body of the animals and the animals it has presence the notochord they are presence it is called as the protochordata and protochordata is again classified into the three different classes on the basis of their presence of the notochord in which place of the body so first of all that the vertebrates so vertebrates it is nothing but this notochord is replaced by the vertebral column because of that it is called as the vertebrates so another important characteristics it in the vertebrates that is the presence of the skull or it is nothing but called as cranium and which is named as a craniata besides they have possessed the three fundamentals you know that the diagnostic characteristics that is the notochord is present pharyngeal gill slits and dorsal halo nerve cord these are the three peculiar characteristics or diagnostic characteristics of the vertebrates or the chordates so lower vertebrates are aquatic and higher vertebrates are predominantly terrestrial means all the vertebrates the vertebrates they have found into the water medium or the aquatic medium but some of the vertebrates they are presence on the land medium and some of the vertebrates they are presence in the terrestrial mode of the life now the body size it is medium to large means small animals like a fish or large animal like a man or the large animal it is nothing but the fish that is the body size is the medium into the large or the small to the large all these the chordates all these the vertebrates it has presence the bilateral symmetrical animals and metamerically segmented animals some of the animals they have show the metamerically segmented so body typically consist of head trunk and the post anal tail but in terrestrial mode of life a neck may be present means the four different parts of the body that is some of the animals of the from vertebrates they have divided into the body it is head trunk and the tail but some of the animals they have the body is divided into the head neck trunk and the tail then the trunks bears typically two pair of joint lateral appendages but absent in some forms serve for support locomotion and other special function so different type of the uh, animals it, it may be included into the vertebrates but the trunks bears typically the two pairs of jointed lateral appendages some of the animals they have absence but these the trunks or these are jointed lateral appendages it is used for the serve for the support location offense and defense mechanism in the different kinds of the different animals so integuments are the body covering is outer epidermis and the inner dermis which is mucus gland in aquatic species those animals they have living into the aquatic medium it has presence the mucus gland for the secretion so skin is covered by the exoskeleton like scales feather hairs claws nails hooves etc now in a different animals like, like in a fishes they are presence the scales like in a birds they are presence the feathers like in the humans they are present at the hairs like in uh, amphibia like in frog like in birds it has presence the claws like in human beings that is the nails like in the cattle it has presence the horns so different type of the organs they may be present in the different animals that is the skin is covered by the exoskeleton like scales feathers hairs claws nails and the horns etc all the non chordate animals it has presence the coelomic animals but all the vertebrates they are present the coelom and coelom is presence and largely filled with the visceral organs that is the notochord is replaced by cartilage bone or 
the vertebral column because of that is the uh, diagnostic characteristics of the vertebrates. Then the several muscles are attached by the bones. Digestive canal more or less convoluted and liver is massive and the tubular. Then respiration by the gills in lower aquatic forms and in higher aquatic, higher terrestrial forms they may be respired by the lungs. So the gills and the lungs, it is respiratory organs, they are present in the vertebrates. So blood vascular system is also closed and heart is present to auricles and the two ventricles that is a four chambered heart is present in the higher vertebrates but some of the vertebrates it has present as the two chambered heart that is one auricles and the one ventricles. Now excretion by the paired kidney this kidney it is nothing but the mesonephric and the metanephric type of kidney the pre pronephrons and the archinephrons kidney are absent into the vertebrates. The special sensory organs the pair of eyes well developed endocrinology system or well developed endocrine glands is present in the body of the vertebrates. Sexes are separates, gonads are discharging a sex cell through the genital duct. That is, it is nothing but the sexes are separate, that is, a male and female gametes, they are joined together, it forms to the zygote and it forms to the uh, it forms the reproduction of the animals, that is the sexual reproduction of animals it is present. So development it is direct or the indirect. So then origin and ancestry of the vertebrates. You know that the uh, vertebrates they are originated from which of the animals. The problem of searching into origin and ancestry has long been particular interest of zoologists. The number of zoologists they have interested for the origin and ancestry. Over the years, several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the origin of the vertebrates. So, what is the time of origin? The chordate it has constituted very ancient forms. The earliest known truly vertebrates animal were freshwater forms, which were abundant during the late Silurian and the Middle Devonian periods. These are the periods. The fossils are collectively known as ostracoderms in the jawless groups called as the agnatha. So vertebrata is again divided into the presence and absence of the mouth. On the basis of the vertebrata is again classified into the two groups that is agnatha and the gnathostomata. Agnatha it is nothing but the absence of mouth and gnathostomata it is nothing but the presence of mouth. Which of the place is origin or origin place of origin? The place of origin of vertebrate it is not definitely known. There is no direct evidence of the exact site of the origins. So number of scientists they are uh, working on the place of the origins. But the evidence, the first vertebrate appearance in the sea and migrate in the river systems. Then the American zoologist that is Cambrillian in 1900 uh, gave the idea of the freshwater origin of vertebrates. The idea was also supported by Romer and Homer Smith. I mean, first zoology, geologist that is America, that is Camberlian in 1900, they have the idea of freshwater origin and vertebrates. The idea was also supported by the Romer and Homer Smith. All the Cambrian and Ordovian vertebrates also occurs in the marine forms, but they are not comes to the freshwater forms. They found the glomerular kidney in hackfishes which are exclusively marine but the James and Robertson started that the glomerular kidney in excretory and not osmoregulatory it is valuable to active vertebrate respective of whatever it is adapted to the sea to the fresh water that is alive or the land. Then hypothetical, hypothetical vertebrates ancestors. The American zoologist that is Camberlians who proposed the theory of freshwater origin of vertebrates in 1900 also proposed the plan of hypothetical proto vertebrates that is the primary vertebrates. So according to Camberlian they are aquatic, they are motile, they are actively participated in the swimming, it is a fish like, it is bilateral symmetrical, presence of head and tails, ends form such beginning the vertebrates were evolved. Now the origin of college. 
Basically, the coordinates have originated from the invertebrates suggested by many zoologists. They are originated from the invertebrates, that is, it is nothing but the link in between the invertebrates and the vertebrates. So, all the theories postulate that the coordinates originated from the some vertebrates. All the scientists, all the zoologists, they have said that number of theories they have proposed they in this theory, the coordinate is originated from the some invertebrates. Only the echinoderms theory have received some attention and acceptance and shall be considered as evaluated under Deuterostome line of coordinate ancestry. Now, what about the echinoderm ancestry? That is echinoderm theory. On the basis of anatomical, embryological, paleontological, biochemical, and serological evidences, various workers has tried to establish that the coordinate probably add originated directly from the primitive echinoderms or the some echinoderm larva. So, number of larval forms of that echinoderms. So, that's why some scientists on the basis of their the anatomical that is embryological, paleontological, biological, seriological evidences, they say that the coordinates is evolved from the echinoderms larva. So, the tornia larva of Baranoglossus and the bipinaria larva of echinoderms exhibit it is a closed symmetry. So, this is nothing but the Baranoglossus is nothing but the protocordates and the tornia larva it is comes from the uh, Baranoglossus and bipinaria larva it is comes from the echinoderms. They have shown the closed symmetry in between that then because of that this theory is widely accepted the coordinates is evolved from the echinoderm ancestry. So, Johnson's, Mueller and Batson's they have suggested that the tornia larva and diplera larva have evolved from a common ancestor source. The common features are the body is minute and transparent. Both have a dorsal pore. Almost identical twisted ciliated bands are present. Formation and disposition of psyllum are same. Both the free swimming forms. Body is bilaterally symmetrical. The presence of apical plate with the eye spot to tornia larva raises doubt about the common ancestry for equinoderms and the hemicordata. Now this the uh, scientist that is Garstang and D. Beer proposed the nectonus larva theory. They suggested that probably the auricularis larva of equinoderms become sexually matured and later this neutonic larva gave rise to the coordinates. So, hemicordate ancestry. What about the hemicordate ancestry? That is balanoglossus ancestry. So, this is the strong suggestive evidence of the early evolutionary stage of Deuterostomia group was